Hello everyone and welcome to another VES Aviation video. Today we have something, yeah, I'm talking again, I'm speaking. We have something different and special and we're going to do some kind of uh, chattings or interviews or uh, debates with some people about aviation topics. Um, so we'll start. Today we have James Field who is a contributor at airlife.net. I'm sure most of you guys know this site. And yeah, we have James on the phone. James? Hello. Hello, James. How are you? I'm very great, thank you. How about you? I'm great. Thank you very much. And I'm pleased to have you here. Welcome to the channel. And thank you very much for uh, taking this time for us. No problem. Let's talk about a bit about you. You're James Field. I told the audience before. You're a contributor at airlife.net. And uh, are you a professional in the sector? I mean, uh, the aviation sector? Okay, well, obviously, as you said, yeah, I'm James Field. I'm a contributor at airlife.net. I'm not a professional within the uh, aviation sector. I am, um, well, aviation is more of a, uh, a hobby for me. I, um, I write um, articles for airlife.net in, uh, in my spare time as well as, uh, you know, take um, photos of aircraft um, during my plane spotting trips and things like that. But, yeah. Yeah, that's great. So you are, um, yeah, this is your hobby is mine. Yes. Okay, and, and what do you do inside Air Life? You're, you're a journalist, aren't you? Yes, I'm a uh, journalist. I um, get uh, whatever news I can get my hands on and uh, write about it to the best of my ability. Yeah. Okay, so Air Life. I'm sure most of my subscribers know what Air Life is. Uh, it's a very big website or site about aviation, but tell us something for those who don't know, tell us something about Air Life. Um, what is Air Life exactly? So AirLive is a news outlet based on the aviation industry. Um, all, of the, well, all of the people involved in AirLive are mainly contributors who uh, handle um, you know, different areas of the sector, for example, yeah. uh, deals with like the videos, deals with like emergencies, um, the, some deal with alerts and some deal uh, you know, with the actual news like me, how I write articles and things like that. Um, we also have people who uh, sort out our social media, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Um, so yeah, we have all sorts of people from around the world helping us all out and you know, trying to provide as much news as we can to the community. Yeah, and that's exactly a question I have, and it's uh, where are you guys from? So you are not only from the UK or Europe, you are from all around the world. Yes, we are. We um, we have uh, journalists based um, within uh, Asia, Oceania, North America, Europe. Um, you know, we, we have gained people from all around the world who have given us all their expertise and knowledge about you know, the aviation industry, as well as any uh, sort of information that we need to know and need to put out there to the public. That's great. And do you know you can give me a number of how many contributors you are, um, approximate? Um, as far as I know, there are between 10, 10 and 20 contributors, as far as I know, of people that I know. It could be far more, um, but yeah. Yeah, 10, 20 people is a good number of people from all around the world, so you can have news from all around the world. That's that's great. And you know, is yeah. there any professional, I mean, pilot or um, ATC or traffic controllers inside you, inside airlife.net? Um, not that I know of. Um, it's just mainly uh, just full of uh, people who have um, a big uh, passion for the aviation industry and want exactly. to, uh, you know, just let it all out to the public in a sense and uh, let everyone enjoy the knowledge that we all know in a sense or the news that we know about because at Air Life we want to give everyone the news as soon as we know it you know certainly yes that's exactly also what my YouTube channel is uh, I share my knowledge and uh, share our content and you know make the people enjoy and also learn something out of it as well so yeah that's great and I'm seeing right now your website will also illustrate this video with your website and I'm seeing articles and I'm seeing news, alerts, history, military, space also. So where does Air Life get the news from? Um, obviously I understand from the contributors but also any other website or uh, media or something? Well what we do is um, we, well for me personally as a contributor I get most of my news through press releases from different airlines and different airports because the, um, the press officers send um, out like a document containing information about something. So for example, yes. I, rec I received an email this morning from Norwegian saying that they're starting two new routes at Manchester Airport. 
Um, so what I do is I gather all the important information that's needed, i.e. quotes, um, when the flights are starting, you know, um, you know how many times per week and things yes. like that. And then I put it all together into a news article and give a bit more of a detailed analysis on it wherever I can. Um, but yeah, um, in terms of um, other ways of getting the news, you know, we... Um, we go to other websites and you know have a look see if there's any more information that we can potentially use because um, different media outlets have different amounts of access like for example the BBC would have a lot of access because they're a big company yes. um, Sky News and you know so on all these media chains would have more information so we do use them as our sources especially in the tweets when we're sending out alerts about emergencies or whether there's been a plane crash and things like that we mainly use the bigger media outlets um but other than that we that, that's that's what we use really you know we, we use um our current community um you know we, we have a big community on uh, on twitter who uh, send us information about anything that's uh, going on under the uh, hashtag air live net yeah um, and yeah, that's how we pretty much get our information. I mean, from the community and also from the bigger media outlets, as well as the airports and airlines themselves. Yeah, that's great because all the information is just focused on one thing. And and yeah, because I have a question that is how reliable is that information? And you already said that you, um, BBC for example, or um, any of the media, obviously that information is going to be good or objective at least. Yeah, well, what we what the, um, the contributors do is that the information that they get, um, we sort of like proofread it about two or three times. We go to different websites, see if the same thing has been reported. Yes. And once we see a pattern of more of the same thing being reported by more and more people, then we know that it's it's, it's going to become more factual in terms of what we're writing. Um, but exactly. in, but in terms of reliability, I believe that the news that we provide is very reliable because of the facts of uh, who our sources are and where we get the information from. Great. Let's jump to another question. It is, uh, imagine I'm an enthusiast or even a professional. I'm a pilot or wherever. Yeah. And I would love to join AirLife and share my content and my knowledge. How could I join the AirLife team? How did you do it? Well... The way that I did it, I um, well, I sent them an email um, with um, with like a draft of like a news art a news article I made based on you know whatever it was that was going on in the industry. Um, if you really want to get featured, um, you can tweet AirLiveNet uh, AirLive.net with the hashtag AirLiveNet because um, we look at the hashtags every now and then, and then we choose what we want to put on. The website or what we can have like retweet on uh, on the twitter page um it like in terms of it you know the community mainly sends us stuff and we just feature it and give them credit where due um you know we hire people well well, when I say we hire people, you know, we take people on as contribute, like you know, we take on people as contributors, and you know, we, you know, we just do it that way that people can just contribute what they know and make AirLive.net a bigger place to be. Awesome. So everyone, subscribers, you guys that are watching this video, if you want to contribute with your AirLive team, just go on Twitter with the hashtag AirLiveNet, and yeah, continue sharing our knowledge and yeah, sharing content. Let's go with the last question that is AirLife in the future. Yeah. AirLife is already a big place of aviation content and news. Uh, I talk personally because um, obviously I follow AirLife on Twitter and um, also yeah on social media and you share emergencies, videos, spotting pictures, uh, military news. Um, where do we see AirLife in the future? What, what else could you offer to the audience? Well, with um you know, for the future, I've been um, advised to say some things and advised not to say, and uh, you know, some things because we have a lot planned in terms of what we want to do with the website. Um, but we are—I am allowed to say this—we are, um, we are planning to launch a mobile app to all our um, viewers who, uh, you know, read um, read our articles, you know, awesome. check us out all the time. Yes. Um, so then people can have a look at the news on the go instead of having to be at a computer all the time. Um, we're also uh, going to be launching an innovative uh, booking service, um, mm -hmm. so you know people can like book flights and book uh, you know necessary transport through our website, 
which uh, which is going to be very exciting as well. Um, but we do have new services that will follow afterwards, but that's going to have to be kept a secret for now, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's great. So that's pretty much it, James. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. No problem. Thanks also to our live for being part of this new project. It's been a pleasure to share this time talking about one of the biggest um, aviation sites. Uh, talking personally, and obviously, I'm sure most of my subscribers know this side. If you guys didn't know, for those who didn't know about AirLife, go check airlife.net and also on Twitter, AirLife, um, and I'm sure you'll like it. Um, and that's it. If you guys want to participate in these uh, kind of um, meetings, debates, or interviews as James Field did today, just let me know in the comments or via the email address that you can find in the description below. I'd be glad to hang out with you talking about what we love, the aviation. And that's it. Thank you very much to James again uh, for no taking problem. part of this and see you guys on the next video.